Hello, my Scorpio babies. Let's find out what's going on with you for the week. If you are interested in subscribing, you will be getting an extended reading off of this reading. You have to do that right here if you're on TikTok. And if you're interested in a personal reading, you would have to go to the link tree that is in my bio, swipe to the left. Go to the link tree that is located in my bio so you can get the information on how to do that. If you are on YouTube and you want to subscribe to me on TikTok or if you're interested in a personal reading, that link tree is in the description box below. Alright, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpio babies for this week? We have the chariot coming out straight up. So you are very determined to get to a goal. There is a particular goal. You're like, I have the blinders on. I am determined to get there. We have the star card. Which is about healing. We also have the moon in reverse. There are some things that are coming to the surface. There are certain things that are coming out in the light. We have the five of wands. Five of wands is about a personal conflict. Could be a personal conflict or you could be conflicting with somebody else. We do have the queen of wands. The knight of cups. And temperance. Bottom deck energy we have is the Ace of Wands. There is something going on here where you are finding your passion. You're finding your new beginning. You are finding your fire. You have an opportunity of making a lot of movement right now. And I feel like that you are. We do have the chariot. Okay. So the chariot is about being determined. You're putting the blinders on. You're like, I see things for what they are. And I'm very determined to get to a certain goal. And that goal is healing. The star card is about wish fulfillment. I'm determined to be happy. I'm determined to have that job. I'm de determined to have that self-love. I'm determined to pour into myself and allow the good things in my life. I feel like that you are... Um, you're coming to a point of seeing things for what they are. The moon being in reverse, you're exposing everything. Light is shining everywhere. So with the five of wands, it's like, I see the conflict. I see the competition. I see where I need to train. I see where I need to get better. But you also see where others need to get better as well. So it's not just about you. It's like, you know what? I'm not the only one who needs to work on things here. I feel like with the Queen of Wands, you are finding your confidence. You are finding your passion. You are finding um, that self-motivation to get you started and following your heart. The Knight of Cups is like... It's more than just a spark of idea. It's a little bit of a movement. So you're following your heart in a certain direction. You could be offering like an olive branch of some sort to yourself or to somebody else in order to make this happen. We do have the temperance. So I do kind of feel like that you are moving more towards the self-love journey. So temperance is about alchemizing water into wine. So I'm taking the pain and I'm going to alchemize it into healing. I'm looking at the pain and saying, I don't have to live in this pain anymore. So I'm going to alchemize it into beautiful energy of learning. There were sirens going on outside just now. So this might be something that you need to hear. In order for you to ignite certain things within yourself and have this new beginning of movement... You have got to let the transition happen. And there you are, Scorpio. The death card came out. You may, and I just dropped it. So you may feel like things are just dropping out from underneath you. But it's more like a 
now that I see what it is and I, now that I know what to do, it may suck, but I know what I need to do. It's like everything is revealed to me right now. Everything could be dropping, but everything is revealed. So for your extended, we are going to be asking about this new op fiery opportunity. I'm going to put that to the side. So if you want to know what that is all about, make sure you subscribe down here. We are going to pull some advice from Spirit. Spirit, what advice do you have for my Scorpio babies? What advice do you have for my Scorpio babies? That's amazing. So you definitely have a change coming. We have surrender to the change. The art of allowing resilience, adaptability. The number is 24, which breaks down to six. So I'm gonna look that up real quick and read you that. Key concepts, the sense of impending change, the art of allowing relinqu relinquishing control, resilience, adjustments, innovation, adaptability. Change is the only constant in life. We're meant to evolve, to grow, to move forward, to revel in the poetry of existence before we complete our journey and cross over. You are meant to evolve as a spiritual being having a human experience, and so your soul needs you to experience change. Yet human beings love familiarity and certainty and have a way of hanging on to the idea of forever, even if it's unrealistic. Things are not meant to remain the same. We are all stories in motion, destined to make and unmake ourselves as we travel and evolve. Some changes are welcome as they bring in fresh air, new ideas, innovation, and new energy. In fact, you can sense it, the exhilarating call to something new. In this moment of life, you can feel a potent energy brimming with possibilities. You've wanted this change, maybe for a long time, but the elements took a while to come together in your favor. Ride this magic carpet as far as it will take you. This is a time of supreme success. So that is what I have for you for this week. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see your extended. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.